is it possible to set up dynamic VTX power? S sort of, sort of. So, uh, uh, let's see if I can find the video I'm looking for. I did a video about this. Uh, yes, this is it. The video I'm looking for is Betaflight change VTX band channel power on a switch. Yes! 34,000 views. Look at that. Look at that smile. I got oh a video look at that handsome guy. Look at that. It's always fun to look at old videos and see how my office looked in the past. Um, so this video shows you how you can go into the Betaflight CLI. Where is it? There we go. You can go into the Betaflight CLI and you can tell the flight controller that it should change VTX settings based on an aux channel. So for example, you could flip a switch or turn a knob and turn the output power of the video transmitter up in flight, okay? Well, that, that, that doesn't quite get us there, does it? What we need when you say dynamic VTX power is the further away I get, the, uh, the higher the power is. And that's tricky, but what you could do is you could use uh, your controller RSSI as a proxy for distance, and you could set up logical switches inside the radio to say when the telemetry RSSI sensor gets to this level, turn the video transmitter power up to this level. You follow me? When it gets down here, turn the power up here. Now that is not something I'm gonna do here on the live stream. That would take me some time to figure out and a lot of trial and error, but it could be done. I don't think it's worth the time. I think it's an interesting project. It might make a cool video, but it's not actually worth the complexity because here's the thing. Number one, why wouldn't you just run at full power? Well, I'm flying with friends. I'm flying with friends and I don't want to power up at two watts. Okay, use low power until first arm. Then as soon as you arm, you fly away, you're good to go. Oh, no, I still don't want to do that. Okay, then just put VTX power on a switch and manually flip the switch when you get far enough away and then just run at full power for the whole flight. I don't think it's, there are some video transmitters that when you change power in flight, the video transmitter glitches. Like, so it's not necessarily that this would be seamless. Okay. So I, I, I think that's a clever thing, but I don't actually think it is, is worth the trouble of trying to solve that problem personally, but go for it. That's how you would do it.